If you're gonna fix your hair in Norway, cut it, dye it, color it, it's going to be super, super expensive. But there are alternatives I will show you, but it's not that easy. This is your way to Norway, and it's all about hair. Go to my place. No, uh, I'm too vain. Today I need a haircut. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and I will go to the hairdresser, but it's going to be very, very expensive. I know a cheap place. Oh, but I'm not sure I will choose that. Listen, if you're a girl, a woman arriving to Norway, you want to fix your hair, you want to color your hair, cut it a little bit just to look nice, and you go to the hairdresser in Norway, you know what? You are going to be robbed. Really, they're gonna take all your money. For this treatment that I just told you, it's like 350 to 400 euros. Maybe more. Of course, yeah. if you are in those places, but in general, oh my God. So what do people from abroad do then? You know what? Uh, there's a woman at my work, the chef. Her name is Daniela. She's from Italy. <laughs> and you know what she does? She found out it's much cheaper for her to buy an air ticket to Italy and back again, including doing her hair, fix it, cut stripe it, stripe it. it, everything. She looks lovely. And she is saving money. Can you imagine? What does she look like? She's lovely. And I mean, and she has uh, saved Volume. money. So, uh, people, are you coming to Norway? Do your hair home. Oh, so So when you come to Norway and look at all the beautiful and you think really natural blonde hair around, I mean you are in Norway, Scandinavia, <laughs> uh, nope. Uh, most of us have a mousy brown color. What? Yes, that's the real color of our hair. So when you walk down the street and look at all the beautiful, you think, natural blonde hair, no, it's only really, really expensive hair that takes hours to make. But all Norwegians are blonde. No, we are not. It's just an illusion, maybe? So why did you bring me here? Well, I have to say, I mean, in general, all over the world, for women, it's more costly to do the hair. Of course. Yes, but as a guy, a man in Norway, it's gonna cost you a fortune too. But it's all about just shortening your hair. Yeah, I mean, you just want the shorter back and neck and on the sides and nothing big, really. So you say Norwegian men and are look, way. In you this say Norwegian men are way. No, well, you need to cut groom, your hair. Groom yeah, their no, beard. yeah, yeah, grooming. Yeah, that's a big trend now. But I mean, you just want to cut your hair a little bit as a guy in Norway and bang! It's 80 euros. You know, that's what I had to pay before. Uh, I found this place where I'm going to later. I did it myself before. Yeah, that's the most cheapest, of course. But, and and that's a good tip. If you want to fix your hair in Norway, you have to do it yourself. And now we are down here where Mops is cutting his hair. And this is kind of the cheapest alternative the you will get. The best place. At, at least it's the cheapest alternative if you're coming to Oslo. Here for a man it's 25 euro dollar, for a woman it's 30 euro dollar. You will get shorter hair. Yeah, and I need to cut my hair, so I'm just... Uh, Come on, get in. Yeah. I'm, it's a good place, I use it. I'm doing... With, uh, Come on, go and sit down. Sit down. No, 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 no. no. You're no, such I, a no, I will have to find my other. I'm too vain. It's. I'm not sure. You're if, a fashion queen. No, but I'm. It's my hair. I, I need a little, a bit more upscale than that. Really, I have to. Oh uh, yeah. Upscale. I mean, it's okay that you have that uh, hairstyle. I oh, don't my want. My hairstyle I don't is want, bad. I don't want your hairstyle. 
I want my own. Oh, I want to look at your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wait where and see. Where you're taking me? I'm taking you no. to where I cut my hair. It's not the most expensive place, but it's not as cheap as this either. But very cheap, actually. Here you pay uh, 35 euros for a haircut, but that's both for uh, girls and boys. So oh, it's like the H and M. Yeah, no, yeah, but I mean, there's no gender. Uh, it's a gender equality actually at this place, and uh, you have only drop in, and it doesn't take more. They say than 15 minutes, and that suits me because I don't like to order. Uh, I want to cut my hair now and I don't want to use a lot of time to it. So they will not wash my hair, they will only cut it. I want it uh, short here, short at my side, but keep the length, but smooth uh, transit, not very sharp transit. So I think it's uh, 0 0.6 uh, meter. Okay, finally we are here after a Ooh. long day. What is this? <laughs> yeah, um, I am. Um, yeah, I mean maybe a bit too short uh, for my life, but luckily my hair grows a lot. It's hard here when they are called cutters, and I say that I want some length on top. It's very hard for some of them to understand that you want it, so. I feel that I was a little bit too short. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, uh, I have to just live with it. And uh, should I have chosen another one? Yeah, you should. Well, Mine. Anyway, uh, guys, let us know what you uh, think about the video, about the prices, about cutting hair in Norway. Uh, subscribe, push the bell, and uh, lots of funny stuff from Norway coming back to you. Now I have to go and fix my hair. <laughs> You're not happy? No, it's too short. That's why you go to a hairdresser to cut your hair. Yeah, but I want to keep some of my length. Luckily, it grows fast out. But... <laughs>